North Bay, Ontario, the gateway to the north. Known for its scenic trails, incredible views, and beautiful beaches. But those beautiful beaches may be in danger, thanks to sharks. In 2020, a news article revealed that three bull sharks had been released into North Bay's Lake Nipissing. The sharks' handler promised that they wouldn't survive the winter, but the sharks promised something different. We visited Lake Nipissing and North Bay. Join us for a total, unrestricted look at the horror that haunts a small town in blood in the bay. Sharks in Lake Nipissing. To learn more about what might lurk in the lake, we got in contact with an expert. Drew Marazzo is a local professor and expert on sharks. Oh, if you ask me, there absolutely could be sharks in Lake Nipissing. Any number of sharks could survive through the late spring and into the fall. There's certainly enough fish in the lake to support them. The only real danger to them would be pollution or boat motors or maybe ghost nets, um, angry or belligerent fishermen, and of course, larger, hungrier sharks. Would they be any danger to swimmers? Oh yes, absolutely, of course. Oh, oh but not a lot, not a lot of danger. They're uh, simple creatures, you see. Uh, they have an underdeveloped brain, and they're unable to differentiate between, uh, say, a fish or a swimmer or a, a yummy-looking rock. They've been around 75 million years. That was when Xanu of the Galactic Confederation first landed and brought his people to Earth, and he brought the sharks. Now, if you'd like to know more, I think that's all the time we have today. And I would love to take the time to, to read through this in great detail. Marazzo taught us an important lesson. Sharks could be anywhere. Since first appearing over 455 million years ago, sharks have developed an incredible sense of smell, keen eyesight, and some even have the ability to swim in fresh water, like those of Lake Nipissing. Backing up Professor Marazzo's claims are the people who trawl and sail for a living, the simple fisher folk of North Bay. Fishing is one of the oldest professions on earth and is steeped in tradition. Honoring those traditions is Chip Rex Rex Rexen. We're here at the dock. Oh yeah, we're at the dock, eh? I've, I've seen sharks in this lake. Really, they've been putting sharks in here for years. They? Yeah, they, sometimes at night they've been hucking things in there, you know, like big sharks, little sharks, you know, medium-sized sharks, or just stuff. They've been throwing stuff in the lake. Have you seen any sharks? Oh, yeah. Well, no. But I haven't really seen any fish, really. Like I said, I've been trying all sorts of bait and nothing's really biting. That's probably because it's about a solid 80% shark in here. You know what I'm thinking? This is the dock. Oh. Hard line. But the proud fisher folk aren't the only ones watching for sharks. Others have come looking for nature's wettest predator. This gentleman tells me that he's known about the sharks for years. I've been tracking them for quite some time. And how do you manage to do that? Well, first you gotta get in real close. Okay. Helps if you have some food. Okay. Then you snap one of these around their necks. And you let them go. They look a little bit small. They're fully adjustable. Right, okay. What have you found? Well, the sharks seem to disappear sometime in the late fall. There's some kind of uh, extensive tunnel system under the lake that leads right to the ocean. Okay, that's amazing. Have you managed to tag and track many sharks? I got three today. Two white ones. And a big black one. A black shark. No. What is it? Oh, my God, it is moving fast. Yes. Oh. No. No? It's above City Hall. No, wait. Wait. Oh, my. This can't be. What is. Get down! Oh, God! 
Our early findings were inconclusive, and as I was only Thetan level one, we sought answers from Kimberly Squall, a world-famous marine biologist and aquatic expert. Excuse me, excuse me, Kimberly Squall. What? Hi, Kimberly, thank you for talking with us. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you and what do you want? Oh, we'd like to talk to you about sharks. I don't have time for this. Well, aren't you, uh... I'm not anything. Please move. Well, wait. Are you a marine biologist? No. Well, uh, 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 what are you? What are you then? Trying to get to work. <laughs> and my name's not Kimberly. While filming in town, news broke that a vicious shark attack had occurred. Oh my god. You guys are never gonna believe what happened to me. So I was like swimming, and then I got bit by a shark. We found the victim to record her chilling story of shark survival. Hi, you say you've been bitten by a shark? Yeah, I was swimming somewhere over there, and it came and bit me in the rib. That's incredible. Are you okay? Yeah, it was like a small bite. Can we see it? The shark? The bite. No, it's uh, too cold. At the end of my journey and needing more evidence, I've decided to head out onto the lake with my new science friend, Drew Marazzo. It is my hope that we might lure the predators out by chumming the waters from the safety of a canoe. Yeah, yeah, this is perfect weather for finding sharks. You telling me, Drew? So what do you think? Uh, nothing yet. Chum land's good though. Any bites on your end? Nothing yet, but I have a really good feeling about this. Whoa! Did you? I swear I heard something. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Well, this reminds me of that time when Xenu with the Galactic Confederate. Oh, look at that! Ah! <laughs> you alright? Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. They're more afraid of you than you are them. Okay. It's okay. All we gotta do. Trying to flip the canoe. We're here at the dock. Oh yeah, we're at the dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Totally crazy. All right, never been so oh. <laughs> <laughs> 